Good afternoon. We are today at Nine Cotswold Court, which is situated in Borton, just off Sandy Lane, a short walk away to Chester City Centre, just over a mile away. So it's really pleasant walking to Chester from here. I really love it myself because you're going over the river with some great views over the meadows through Borton. You can walk through the Grosvenor Park into the city. It's a really lovely side of town to live in. Whilst you're here though, the River Dee is a short stroll down the road. So you, there's some great boat trips you can have there. You can also, there's a children's park, great place to sit out. And at the top of Sandy Lane, there's a great array of independent shopping facilities, great little coffee house, the Mount Public House with its superb river views is just around the bend. So that would be a local pub with a beer garden overlooking the River Dee. So that's the area sold. Now Cotswold Court is a lovely development of two blocks of apartments. This apartment itself is on the upper ground floor. It's in great condition. What I like about this is we're just over a mile from the city centre. There's two allocated parking spaces plus a single garage as well, which is very rare for a, a, an apartment. So if you're looking to downsize, this would be an excellent opportunity. However, we've rented this property out consistently over the years as well. So it could also be a great investment. So follow me and I'll show you around. So before I take you inside the apartment, let me show you the outside. So we're westerly at the front, which is beautiful. And outside we've got some quite sizable communal gardens which are open for all the residents, nice seating areas. You know, if you lived here, you could bring your own couple of seats and we're getting the afternoon sun just over there. So again, it's nice that we're so close to town and we've got some greenery around us. And then situated to the rear of the building, there is a single garage, excellent for further storage. And there's some short-term parking for drop-offs and visitors, I would imagine. So that's the outside. Now let me take you round the apartment next. So I climbed a short set of steps up to the upper ground floor. So you don't need to use the lift that's here and there's not many steps to get past if you're wanting to be near the ground floor while still feeling elevated. In the communal areas, there's our UPVC double glazed door which takes you to the rear. So if you need access to the garage, you don't have to go all the way around. And then we take you into the entrance hall. Good size, cream, neutral carpet. There's a double storage cupboard here, ideal for ironing board hoovers with further storage over above. Your electrics are in there as well. Good thing with this property is it's gas fired central heating as well. Many flats are storage heaters and it's run off a modern combi boiler, which I'll show you shortly, which isn't old. I love this living room. It's got a lovely feel to it. This large westly facing window with a nice, I like the view. You look at some really old period properties on Sandy Lane itself and through the gaps you can just about see through the meadows over through to Queen's Park on the other side of the river. So, as I mentioned, the River Dee is close by. Sadly, can't see it from here, so I can't claim that. But going back to the living room, really good size, space for two good sized sofas there. It's neutrally carpeted as well, and the archway flows through to this pleasant dining area. Now, again, a little bit of point of difference. There's a UPVC double glazed door here, which takes you through to the balcony. So you've got your outside seating area, but this does again face the afternoon sun. So, nice private spot just to sit out, read a good book and look over Sandy Lane. So going back into the dining room, the laminate flooring carries you through to the kitchen. And again, the kitchen, nicely fitted, neutral range, white painted timber units. There's room here for electric cooker, space for fridge and a freezer. And the boiler I mentioned, it's just in here and it's a backseat combi boiler. Now the property has recently, or been less in recent years even, so the gas has been checked on a yearly basis. Nice, easy to look after work services and your back view from your kitchen sink is over towards the garages and part of the communal gardens. Again, some nice trees there, so it's nice and leafy. You don't feel you're only just over a mile from the city centre. Bifold doors can be closed from the kitchen, so when you're cooking, it doesn't go into the living room. So as you go through the spacious living room, back into the entrance hall, we've got two bedrooms, both good sized. Master bedroom is just through here. So we've got the bed frame, which gives us an idea of what you can fit in here. Again, we're overlooking the communal garages and gardens, and there's a double and single built-in wardrobe with further overhead storage as well. So again, good sized room. And then we go into bedroom two, which is at the front of the property. So again, benefiting from the Wesley Outlook, a really good sized, either big single room, or I think you can get a double bed on this back wall here with room for a bedside either side. And then last but not least, I'll take you through to the bathroom. Again, neutral, three-piece wide suite. You've got an electric shower over the bath, a curved shower screen here, ceramic tile flooring. There's a heated tile rail just behind the door, which is in chrome, and lots of built-in under storage under the sink with a nice display counter. So the property is ready to move into, being sold with no chain. I think it's an excellent addition to the market. Its location is superb. 
and I think it's got a lot going for it, particularly the parking being so close to town and having a garage for additional storage. So if you'd like to book a viewing, give us a call. I'd love to meet you here. My name is Ashley. Our number at Current Homes is 01244 313 900. See you soon.